Okay, everybody, hey, welcome back to another episode of Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B., right? So check it out. You guys have seen a lot of little flyby. You done seen that thumbnail, so you know what we're doing. We're making a Cajun pasta salad for the summer, so let's get it. Now, just showing you guys some of the ingredients right here, but don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com for the full printable recipe. So what I'm getting ready to do right now is, if you guys have ever seen anything that I've done as far as like macaroni salad, uh, deviled egg, potato salad, and all of that, you know what I mean? You know I like to have that little crunch, right? So this is gonna be the same way. So I take my celery and we do it just like what you see right here. So now when I cut them down, and I'm not going big, we are going for the taste and the texture though too. You do not have to put the sausage in there. You can keep it nice, refreshing, not heavy or nothing like that. But this is already, you know, listen, it has already been cooked. You know what I mean? I just take it out. I don't think I need to, but then I cut these down just like you see. You see, we just want to get some nice little pieces. Now you guys know I like to do everything. I'm a meat man, you know what I mean? So I'll be having everything with a little meat. If I can get it in there, I'm gonna get it in there. Okay, so you can see, I went ahead and just put, you know, my elbows, right? These are like large, I put them in here. You know what I mean? Just so they can dry out a little bit also. I had them in the colander in the sink, but they only gonna get as dry as they can. So I'm just doing this right here. Only reason why, because after we make our, you know, our paste, our sauce, then we put it in here. We want this to be dry and be able to, you know, have the sauce adhere to the, you know, to the macaroni, but look at that right there. We, oui, folks, yes sir. Now, if this recipe wasn't as easy as it possibly can be, listen, this is the part that makes everybody say, hey, I like making stuff like this, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding myself some, you know, mayo, right? I usually put in about a cup, maybe a little bit more than a cup, you know what I mean? Uh, but we gonna need a little mayo. You saw the, the noodles, right? I'll start there, that's good for now, right? I'm using, obviously, Best Foods, you know, Hellman's, uh, you guys got Duke, you know what I mean? There's a couple of other names out there, you know what I mean? You guys let me know what your favorite mayo is, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just add my vinegar. I'm not gonna name all of these out of here like that. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna add them all. You guys gonna go ahead and go to my website, right? You gonna go ahead and print it out, take a screenshot, whatever you guys do, you know what I mean? But right now, we just finna get all of this in here just like this and then as always over here to my left probably you guys is right I keep myself a you know hot soapy water so I'm gonna wash all of this and be done with it before I serve it I can tell you right now though that little bit right there you know what that is that's that kind for those of you guys want to have just like a little bit of kick right now speaking of kick this is Creole kick gotta get that in there that's like the secret wrapping that makes it you know to make it all come together right now, just right here is where I'm gonna go ahead and use my whisk and just start working this together. You'll notice the color, because when you put the Creole seasoning in there, this is what it's gonna look like. And then we got some other ingredients too. You'll be able to see all of that. Oh yeah. Look at that right there, looking like a Cajun Ramelade, huh? I know. Now we start adding some of the rest of our ingredients. We go with the celery. I can tell you right now, listen, all that celery was going in there. I usually do four ribs, you know what I mean? But I, I just cut back just to see where we at for video purposes. But I'm already feeling like I don't have enough. Then we take our onion. Let's get that in there. All right. So look, I'm going to give it just a little bit more mayo. And check it out. We're going to call that good. Now, let's just talk about this right here. Right? This is that Louisiana hot sauce. There it is so you guys can see it. You guys let me know what hot sauce would you guys do it? You know, just to give it a little bit more bite. I know we got a little cayenne in here, 
I'll just put just a little bit in here. That's enough right there. That's enough for AB. Now check it out, folks. Normally I cut it down like that. We only got a couple. It's just to add a little bit of egg to it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead now and just cut it down like this. If you guys wanna know how I get my egg looking like that, you know, this color and this, you know, I guess hardness, boil your water. After your water is boiling, put it inside, turn it down to like medium where it's just barely boiling and let it go for about, uh, about 12 or 13 minutes. You can see how small I dice it up. We don't wanna just put a whole lot of egg in there. We, it's not an egg salad or nothing like that. It's just enough to have that soft texture, more so really for the taste, you know? When people taste, it's just an explosion, you know, of flavor. Don't forget the Creole Kick is a low sodium uh, product, you know what I mean? So we always just add a sprinkle or two of uh, salt just to wake up the flavor, if that's what your palate, you know, calls for. All right, so once I'm all cleaned up right here, now we're gonna go ahead and just add this to it. I know you guys are loving that color. I can tell you it's gonna take all of that. You know what I mean? So there's no need even me playing with it. You know what I mean? If anything, it could use more, but we don't want it to be soupy though, right? So I just add it like this. Nine times out of 10, I tell everybody, you know, put a little bit at a time. You know what I mean? We can always add, but we can't take nothing away, right? But when you made this so many times, you know, now, let me bring it in closer you guys can see it. So now all we do is just fold, you know, until we have it all incorporated together. You don't want to see any raw pasta noodle, right? And remember I was talking about the meat? You can't even see the meat. Once it gets coated, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, it got the color of like a good Cajun, you know, Ramelade, right? But look at that right there. Now really the only thing left to do is like stick it in the refrigerator and get it chilled. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and cut you know, my hard boiled egg up, put it over the top, take some pictures, make this, this salad right here a uh, star. You know what I mean? Then we're gonna move on. Okay, folks, look, just telling you the truth, listen, it ain't nothing else to do but to just. After, you know, doing something like this, it's so simple, you know what I mean? Just after we mix it up and do all of that, listen, now we just gotta taste it, right? This is actually for somebody, so listen, I'm only gonna go in here one more time. I already had, like, the chef, I'm not gonna mess up the eggs, but listen, that's for their presentation. Check it out, folks. Cheers. Ooh. The lemon juice just, like, makes it, like, a little bit on the refreshing side. You know what I mean? Uh, I really want to stick my fork back in there. Because this right here is fire, folks. This is nice, creamy, refreshing. You know what I mean? You can put it in a half pan, you know, fill that up, take it to wherever you're going. And I promise you, this is going to make everybody say, hey, who brought this? Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if these folks think I'm finna give them my wood bowl, they must be crazy. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.